Good morning, my dear students. Hope that you are all fine. I am Joshi Chakma, your English teacher of class 5. Today our lesson is from Unit 7. We will cover lesson 1 to 5 today from our English for Today textbook. Okay, take out your book and open at page 26. It's unit 7 and lesson 1 and 2. The title of our today's lesson is Be Healthy. How do you be healthy? How will be you healthy? If you eat good food and if you take exercise every day, you will be healthy. Okay. You will remain healthy. Okay. Now, this is a conversation between Sima and Nasrin. We will read the conversation first. After that, we will do the given exercise. Okay? We will try to answer the exercise, the question answer. Okay? Now, take out your book. I am reading the conversation and follow me. Look, here two girls are talking about their uh, favorite food I think and listen carefully and say with me. At first Sima is asking to Nasrin about her favorite foods. What are you doing Nasrin? Nasrin replies, I'm putting some chocolate on my ice cream. Ice cream is delicious with chocolate. I know you all like ice cream and chocolate. Isn't it? Right. But it's not a good food for our health. It makes us weak. It is delicious but not good for our health. So take a little amount of ice cream or chocolate. Okay. Don't eat it regularly. Okay. What does Sima say? Sima says that well it looks good. It looks good. Chocolate with ice cream. It looks very good. But you shouldn't eat a lot of chocolate on ice cream. Lot of chocolate or ice cream. You shouldn't eat it regularly because it's not a good food for our health. Okay, Nasrin says, of course, I don't eat them regularly. Nasrin replies that she doesn't take it regularly. She also knows that ice cream and chocolate are not good for our health. Okay, now... What does Sima say? Sima says, what kind of food do you eat regularly? Then what kind of food do you eat regularly? Because you don't take chocolate and ice cream regularly. So what kind of food do you take regularly? Sima asks to Nasrin. Nasrin replies, oh, fruits and vegetables. I love pineapples and bananas. I love pineapples and bananas. They are my favorites. They are fruits and vegetables. We know the third level of the food pyramid is fruits and vegetables. It's very good for our health. It makes fresh our eyes and our skin. It makes us fit. Okay, it makes us fit. Okay. And they are my favorites. That means Nasrin likes fruits and vegetables and fruits and vegetables, this kind of food is favorite to Nasrin. I eat cucumbers and lettuce a lot too. She also likes cucumber and lettuce. Okay. Me too like vegetables. Okay. Sima, Sima says I eat fruits and vegetables every day. I also eat fruits and Vegetables every day. Carrots and tomatoes are my favorites. Carrots and tomatoes are my favorite. What does Nasrin like? Nasrin likes pineapples and bananas. And what does Sima like? Sima, what does Sima like? Sima likes carrots and tomatoes. Carrots and tomatoes. All these are vegetables. Okay. But I also like strawberries and bananas. The fruits. These are fruits. What fruits does Shima like? Shima likes strawberries and bananas. Okay. Nasrin says, would you like to try some of my ice cream with chocolate? Would you like to try? Would you like to eat? We should eat it quickly. 
we should eat it quickly because it will melt very soon very soon it will melt soon in this hot weather in this hot weather it will melt very soon that's why we um, we of course eat it very shortly we eat it very quickly sima says okay thanks they will share the ice cream okay now what is the action in activity b in activity b the work is underline the force in the dialogue in activity you find out activity you find out the force from this activity this lesson this conversation find out the force names only and underline the names of force okay in this page number 26 now find out let's find number one chocolate it's a food ice cream it's also a food and you can underline you can underline fruits vegetables pineapples bananas cucumbers lettuce carrots tomatoes strawberries bananas chocolate and ice cream we uh, already underlined the names okay now check it out okay now turn the page and it's a pair work ask and answer this question with your friend or with your parents or with your uh, brother and sister who are at your home at present okay now what are the question what is nasrin putting chocolate on what is nasrin putting chocolate on nasrin is putting chocolate on ice cream putting chocolate on ice cream okay number two why doesn't nasrin eat chocolate regularly why doesn't nasrin eat chocolate regularly because nasrin doesn't eat chocolate regularly because it is not a good food it's not a good food for our health okay number three what does nasrin say about ice cream with chocolate nasrin says about ice cream with chocolate is delicious it's very tasty okay number four what are nasrin's favorite foods nasrin's favorite foods are pineapples uh, fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables she loves pineapples and bananas she also likes cucumber and lettuce also a lot and are these healthy foods yes of course they are very healthy foods for our health number five what are Sima's favorite foods Sima's favorite foods are fruits and vegetables fruits and vegetables especially carrots and tomatoes carrots and tomatoes she also likes strawberries and bananas as a fruit as fruits okay are these healthy foods yes they are also very healthy these foods are also very healthy number d activity activity d at first read the question write a short composition about a healthy meal you ate which meal you ate and uh, you can say yesterday you can say day before yesterday or last week last month anything um, you can uh, describe the meal you ate a healthy meal you ate and use the following words there are one two three four five six seven there are seven words one two three four five six seven words and use these seven words in your composition okay can you write it i know you all of you can write this composition i can also help you how to write how which sentences you can use how to use these words in your sentence uh, i can say some i can say some samples of sentences and you can write the sentence and of course if you write another sentence new sentence um, uh, of your own it will be very appreciated okay 
vegetables lentils fruit healthy dairy unhealthy well the first word is vegetable so how do i use vegetable in my sentence of course i need to uh, introduce some event uh, after that i can write the food's name okay you can say last night you can say yesterday uh, we had visited our auntie's home and there we take a great meal and there are very delicious uh, uh, foods Uh, my aunt decorated on the table dining table and i i ate very many kinds of vegetables chicken eggs and you can say also fish uh, and some vegetables lentils you also took lentils at that meal okay we can cross vegetables we can cross lentils we can cross after the meal we eat some fruits we ate we will use the past tense because the question is on past tense meal you ate the meal you ate right the meal you ate and describe it that means we will use past tense in our composition and um, fruits we ate some fruits after our meal and we also uh, we also because we i know because we know the fruits are very healthy for our health and very good for our health and after in the evening in the afternoon you can say uh, we took some uh, we took some milk or we took i took a glass of milk because it is dairy products is very good for our health and dairy products give, make uh, make us strong dairy products make us strong okay and i uh, didn't take a, a lot amount of fries because i know uh, fat and well aren't good foods for our health it is unhealthy that's why i did not take uh, fry um, fry things a lot amount okay and finish the composition uh, like that and in activity e this is language focus the activity is language focus how do we use the language we will discuss today about adverb what is a verb adverbs say adverbs say how or um, how the action how or when the action is done the action means verb how the verb how the action is done uh, it describes you know, we describe um, with adverb words we describe with adverbs okay usually the adverb comes after the verb how the action is done uh, how what action is done after the action's name we will use the adverb okay uh, here is an example tomal is talking quietly how is tomal talking that means how the talking is done talking is done quietly Tomal is talking quietly to Biju. That means talking is a verb and quietly is a ad, is an adverb. Okay. Read the dialogue in activity A again. The dialogue which um, which are done between Sima and Nasrin. We will read the conversation again and. underline the adverbs carefully we will find out the adverbs which are used in this conversation okay let's try i mm, we can underline the word regularly i don't eat them regularly regularly is an adverb and and the word and the word we can find out every day i eat fruits and vegetables every day is adverb of time every day is also an adverb and we can also underline this word we should eat it quickly we should eat the ice cream quickly quickly because i ice cream this ice cream will melt very soon that's why we eat the ice cream quickly how do the verb it is done it the word the action it 
will be done very quickly or very shortly. Okay, it's an adverb. Complete the activity and number G, the activity G is very important. It's a group work, but now we can't do this group work because our class is um, postponed for activity for COVID situation. That's why you can uh, you can do this activity with your parents or with your uh, cousins or uh, brother and uh, brother and sister or your home teacher also group work. What is the word? Choose an action from row one. There are two rows in blue color. Choose an action from row one. Row one, the actions are arranged and an adverb from row two and adverbs are arranged in row two. Mind the action in that way and we will match the action and the adverb and mind the action. That means we will add the action uh, in that way. The first action is run. Run is a action. Run is an action. And what will be the adverb? Run. If I say run slowly and act the action. Act out the action. Mind the action. That means we will run very slowly. Okay. It's very interesting. Number two. Write. Write. You can say write quickly. How do the uh, action, how will the action is done right quickly? In this way, quickly, okay? We will write this in this way, right quickly. And the third action, sing. Sing, how can we match with the word in row two? Sing loudly, sing loudly. We can mind this action, ah, okay, we can sing this action like making a loud sound, okay. And number one, two, three, four, number four action is draw. Draw, uh, the adverb we can choose quietly, draw quietly. That means you draw some pictures very attentively and quickly, okay. And very interesting uh, work is this. Okay. That's all for today's lesson, my dear students. Hope that you all enjoy today's class and see you in our next class. Till then, stay safe and fit. Okay. Thank you.